No, I didn't. No? Do you know that we have an exam today? See? Si. Yeah. Today we finished level one. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. What, where is Aleli? Uh, she's busy. She's busy. Okay, okay. I understand, I understand. And um, do you know anything about Melly? No. No? Okay, okay. Well, Deya, um, we have one lesson. One lesson today. And I want us to finish the lesson a little quickly. You know, it is 1230. I did not expect you guys to be this late. Uh, we're going to finish this lesson quickly. We're going to review so you can be a little more prepared for the test. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. All right. Well, Daya, you're, you're a good student. You learn things very, very quickly. So I want to teach you something before we begin. So, um, today is August 29, 2020, and our objective for today is to read a restaurant guide slash review and also to write a restaurant review right so you know we have we have many different types of of restaurants you know so we, we're going to choose one or two and we're going to write a review about that restaurant now writing reviews is something that is very common these days. You know, if you use Amazon and you like the product, you can write a review. If you don't like the product, then you can complain in the reviews. Same thing with Mercado Libre, Shopify, uh, Wish, um, Facebook. You know, whenever you buy things online, you can write a review. So this is a good strategy to have. You know, this is something that people do in real life. Um, the last review that I wrote was for a microphone. La, 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 la. Well, not to sing. You know, I make YouTube videos, so I needed to buy a microphone. And it was a very expensive microphone. It was 6,000 pesos. So to me, it was like, Oh my gosh, I'm very nervous because this is expensive and um, if it's bad, I'm going to be angry. But I got the microphone. It was a really good microphone, so I wrote a review. I said, wow, I got the microphone early and it was a very good quality microphone. And, you know, I wrote my review. I gave five stars and everything is great. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing today on page 124. You are with me, Fernando Gatica. And we're in Touchstone 1, Unit 12, Lesson D. So before we begin, 
with the book and all that stuff, I, I was wondering, Dea, what, what are some of your favorite restaurants? What are some of your favorite restaurants? Now, some people don't have a favorite restaurant, but they like a lot of different types of restaurants. Um, for example, me, in my case, my favorite restaurants are, I like McCarthy's. It's not my most favorite, my favorite is, but I like McCarthy's, I like Tarasco's. I really, really love this restaurant called Zax Zaxby's in the United States. I love this restaurant called Waffle House. And I also love um, the Cheesecake Factory. I love all of these things. So Deya, what are your three to five preferred restaurants? I love any uh, favorite. Okay. Which restaurants do you like? I like Tarasco and Sambor and Bips and Bips oh. or Tox también. Tox. In your opinion, what is better, Tox or Bips? Uy. Beeps. Yeah, beeps. Nice, nice. And um, when you go to these restaurants, what do you like to order? Coffee. Coffee. Uh, soup. Soup, okay. And what else? Um, I don't know. Okay, okay. Like, um, for example, when I go to McCarthy's, I love to order a cheeseburger and a beer. And Tarascos, I like, they have good food, but I just prefer natural pastor. That's my favorite, natural pastor. And um, you with your Zaxby's, I mean, nice Zaxby's, sorry, Veeps and Ducks, you order coffee and soup? That's your favorite? Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. Nice. Well, in, in your opinion, in your opinion, how is the service at Veeps? Would you give it? One star, two stars, three stars, four stars, or would you give it five stars, the service at Veeps? Uh, five stars. Five stars, oh, nice. How's the service at Veeps? It's really good. I give it five stars. Nice. And um, how is the food at Veeps? How many stars would you give the food? There you uh, Good. One 
one, star two, star three, four or five? Four stars. Four stars. Okay. It's good. I'll give it four stars. Nice. All right. Now, let me tell you about McCarthy's. McCarthy's, the service is, is bad. <laughs> they are very bad. They are not good at service. So I'll give it like two or three stars for the service at McCarthy's. But the food, the food is five stars, man. The burgers are like this, this big. And um, they're very cheap. They're like 100 pesos, 110, 120 pesos for this humongous burger. So it is a good, good deal. All right. Now, Daya, can you please get a notebook? All right, I'm gonna show you some words and I want you to write them down, okay? The first one is seafood, okay? Food from the sea or ocean. Seafood is food from the sea or ocean. I'm trying to find a good color, but I can't. Let's see, black. black is not good. I think this is not good. All right, so please write this down in your notes. Seafood is food from the sea or the ocean. Okay, let me know when you are ready. Finish. Finish. All right. The next word. All right. The next word is under the stars. Under the stars. When you are under the stars, you are outside and you have a clear view of the stars all right so whenever you go to the beach at night and you lay down and you look at all the stars you can say i am under the stars i love this place it's very romantic it's relaxing you know what i mean under the stars. Finish. All right. The next one is This, the word cheap. When something is cheap, it doesn't cost a lot of money. It's the opposite of expensive. Is the opposite of expensive. Finish. All right, so they, 
give me some examples of cheap restaurants. I think that Ascos is a cheap restaurant. It's cheap. What other Thanks. examples? Uh, I don't know. I'm not that expert in restaurant. No? Okay, okay. No problem, no problem. Well, you know, Las Funditas, they are usually cheap, right? Oh, yes. Yes? All right. And this next thing, this next picture right here. Um, this right here is verb to hang out, right? When you hang out with someone, you spend time with them. You know, in Spanish, you say, um, you say you can hang out with people like, I like to hang out with my family. I like to hang out with my kids. I don't have kids, but I would li I like to hang out with my mom, my dad, my sister. Finish. All right. Thank you. All right, this one. Um, Daya, do you like soup? Yeah. No? Hello, teacher. Hello, Melly. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Melly and uh, I am explaining some vocabulary words to Daya. These are words that we're going to see today, okay? So my question is, ladies, Daya and Melly, do you like sushi? Yes, I, like, I do. <laughs> okay, very good. So you know that inside sushi, it has this special rice. It is yes. sticky rice, right? Uh, so just remember that sticky rice is the special rice they use in sushi and also other Japanese dishes, okay? Next word. The next word is French cuisine. French cuisine. Uh, well, it can be French cuisine, Mexican cuisine, Indian cuisine. Whenever you see the word cuisine, it just means all of its food. So if I am talking about Mexican, Mexican cuisine, I can talk about enchiladas, tacos, mole, uh, etc. right? And American cuisine, hamburgers, hot dogs, etc. And in some restaurants, they have French cuisine, things specifically that originated from France. One of the most common things that we eat, Mexicans eat from France is the crepe. Crepe, crepe. You know the crepe, it's like a, it's like a hot cake, but in roll in a roll right melly and daya do you like crepes yes yes and do you like the nitos i didn't i cook it you make crepes yes oh my gosh you have talent all right yes yes and um do you like the nitos negritos yes Yes, that's also a French cuisine. Yes. All right. French cuisine. All right. 
if you eat mole, sorry, if you eat pozole, then you need a bowl. A bowl is a type of deep dish commonly used for soup, cereal, or pozole. pozole. <laughs> All right, so this is a bowl, right? This is my, I love bowls because you can put a lot of food in the bowl. So I like it, I like it. Yeah. There you are. are you writing this? Yeah, finish. Finish, all right. Uh, we have three more words, three more words and then we can begin. Noisy. Noisy is the opposite of quiet, the opposite. There is a lot of sounds or noise, a lot of sounds or noise. Um, like the restaurants on Costera, they are very noisy, all of them. They have a lot of music. The, the camiones urbanos, they are very noisy, you know? My family in my Zoom classes, they are very noisy. <laughs> Not today, thank God. All right, but do you understand this, Melly and Dea? Yes. Yes. All right, noisy. This should be a word you know. All right, and if you love this, then you have great taste. These are noodles. Noodles, you know, like Maruchan, Nes yeah. and Nissan. Th those are noodles. Chinese food, Japanese food. Yes. Do you like noodles, Deya and Melly? Yes. Yes, I yes. do, teacher. Great, great. And this, look at all these people. Look at all these people. This is, this is not good right now with the coronavirus. But in the past, whenever you go to a concert or any big event, even at the Socalo, there was a crowd. A crowd is a large number of people in a small place or just in a place. All right. <clears throat> Whenever you go to El Forum to watch a concert, it's a crowd. There are so many people in the centro. There's always a crowd. I hate it. I hate it. I need to move to Colosio, Colosio, far away from everybody. All right. Any questions? No. No. All right. Well, let's begin. Melly, um, you weren't here. You weren't here. So what we are going to do is we're going to read some reviews for a restaurant. And then we are going to write a review for one of our restaurants. Okay? Okay. So please open up your book to page 124. All right, can you read 
the title and the first exercise, Dea? Great, great places to eat. What makes a good restaurant? Check the three things that are most important to you when you go out to eat. Tell the class. All right. Okay, so I want you to check the three things that are the most important to you. And I'm going to explain these three things. All right, a nice atmosphere. A nice atmosphere is that everything is nice. Everything is nice. Like maybe a good example is 100% natural. At night, you know, at night you can go in 100% natural and you can eat outside on the dock and you can see the beach. It's beautiful. It's a nice atmosphere. It's nice. All right, live music. You know, like in Mipiasi, they have the woman, she's singing. Da, 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 da. They had to have excellent food, great food, low prices, it's cheap, and good service, and wonderful desserts. Desserts are sweet things like cake, brownies, ice cream, crepas, or crepes in English. So I want you to check the three things that are the most important to you. To me, the most important things are low prices, good service, and excellent food. All right? Please, check the three things that are most important to you. All right, Melly, what are your three most important things when you go out to eat? There you are. What are your three most important things when you go out to eat? Excellent food, low prices, and a good service. Oh, you're like me. Okay. Uh, Melly, how about you? Like music, excellent food, good service. Oh, okay. Great. Great, great. All right, now exercise B. Could you read the instructions, Melly? Read the restaurant B. Shops, a restaurant you would like to try. Try? Try. Tell a partner why you'd like go there excellent so a restaurant guide you know a guide is something that shows you the direction and something you would like to try okay so this is this is a restaurant guide okay they are 
international restaurants. All right. We have seven restaurants. We have El Patio, Mamma Mia, Mekong, Paris, Sakura, Stir Crazy, and Sylvester's Steakhouse. Steak is, you know, meat from the cow. Like moo, like La Mansion is a steakhouse. Harry's is a steakhouse. All right. Places that sell cow. Right. And in this, in this guide, we have three different categories. We have food, service, and the price. The food, service, and the price. All right. So let's look at them. All right. From the looks of it, we can see that the food in Paris is the best, right? And restaurants like Stir Crazy and Mamma Mia, they are cheap, very cheap. And the service is really good at Paris. And the service in Stir Crazy is nothing, nothing, nothing there. All right, so we're going to read this and um, when we finish, we need to answer this question. Which restaurant would you like to try and why? Which restaurant would you like to try and why? Okay, so let's take turns reading. Deya, Meli, Deya, Meli. All right, Deya, please begin with El Patio. Um, Romeo? Yes, read it, please. Um, El Patio. Enjoy a Latin American idea of fiesta of fun, music, and authentic Mexican food. We recommend the great seafood and chicken dishes. Ask to sit on the patio under the stars and listen to a mariachi band while you eat. Mamma mia. If you like a cheap night out, then this is a great Italian, Italian place for pasta, pizza, and salad. Try their delicious homemade ice cream, but don't come here looking for a quiet place to talk. It's a very popular place for students to have a on the weekends. Thank you. Uh, Mekong, would you like to try something different? Try the menu at this fuzzy little Vietnamese restaurant. We recommend the sticky rice and beef. Paris. If you're planning a quiet dinner for the for two in a romantic atmosphere, try Paris. This restaurant has fantastic French points, points expensive but great for a special occasions. Occasions. Okay. Sakura, this quiet and friendly restaurant serves the best sushi in town. The service is excellent and you can watch the chef prepare your meal. Uh, still, still crazy. 
here sometime no something new at a stir crazy you make your own dinner fill a bowl with vegetables tofu rice or noodle noodles and add some treat beef or chicken then cook it at your table all you can eat for team team dollars dollars huh? yes it's an american book so we're gonna say dollars and are they here Sylvester's stick house. It's noisy, expensive, and crowded. But Sylvester is the place to go for stick. We recommend it. All right. On the left corner, I wrote some words that you guys were mispronouncing. So please repeat after me. Quit. Zine. Cuisine. 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 It looks kind of like. Qu. Qu. Zine. Cuisine. 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 Occasions. O. Occasion. K. Shans. Shans. Occasions. And this one is at Shans. Mo. At Mo. Sphere. At, at Mo Sphere. At Mo Spheres. Atmosphere. And steak. Steak. Steak, steak, steak. So all of those words are good words. They're common words, especially the word steak. All right. We, we humans, we love steak. Love, 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 love steak. All right. So look, let me tell you. Uh, me? I... Which restaurant would you like to try and why? Me, I, I would like to try stir crazy because I love the idea of making my own food for only Ten dollars. You know, I would like to try stir crazy because I love the idea of making my own food for ten dollars. I can get vegetables, rice, shrimp, beef, and chicken for ten dollars. It's nice. I love that. And how about you, Melly? Which restaurant would you like to try and why? I will you like no I would like to try Paris because I love uh, the your food no Italian food okay nice nice yes Paris reminds me of the restaurant um, Suntori. Now, Suntori is Japanese, but Suntori is the same. The food is excellent. The service, excellent. The price, very expensive. It's, it's, a, it's a similar quality of restaurant. All right. But 
I don't like Suntory. It's too expensive. Deya, which restaurant would you like to try and why? Paris and Mekong. Paris and Mekong, why? Because Mekong is cheap. I'm very. They are French cuisine. Oh, yes, it's French, not Italian, right? <laughs> Paris is in France? Oh, yeah, it is in France. Anyways, go to the next page. All right, um, let's look at exercise C. Read the article again and answer these questions. Compare your answers with a partner. Okay, so this is going to be like mostly, mostly your opinion, but also based on the article. For example, which restaurant do you think has the best atmosphere? Which restaurant do you think has the best atmosphere? I think the restaurant with the best atmosphere is El Patio because it has live music. It has live music and it's fun. So, you know, so the atmosphere is, is really amazing. It's beautiful. All right. Which restaurant sounds like fun? Which restaurant sounds like fun? The restaurant that sounds like fun to me is Sakura because the chef prepares your meal. Well, because you can watch the chef prepare your meal. And that's always very fun because the chefs do crazy things like fire, fire. All right, so with your own opinion, answer these questions about the article. Do you understand, Daya? Do you understand, Melly? Yes. Yes? All right, please yes. begin. Um, I'm going to go use the restroom. But I Restaurant, do you think has the best at, at most fit? What a atmosphere? One more time, Melly. Let's start again from the beginning. I think maybe she's busy with the children. So let's see. Um, which restaurant do you think? Da, da, da. All right, so there you are. Which restaurant do you think has the best atmosphere? El Patio. Because it has live music and it's fun. Ah, okay, okay. And uh, which restaurant sounds like fun? Yeah. Um, still crazy because you you can make your own dinner. That's true. That's true. And um, 
Which restaurant do you think sounds like a good place for a special dinner? Paris, because it has a fantastic French cuisine, but expensive. Okay, okay. True, true. And um, which restaurant do you think sounds like a place to hang out with your friends? What? Which restaurant do you think sounds like a place to hang out with your friends? Uh, uh, Mamma Mia, because it's a very popular for students. All right, great, great. And uh, which restaurant do you think you would like to go to with your family? Uh, Sakura, because the service is excellent. The service is excellent? Okay. Very good, very good. And, hold on, we have some one person here. And which restaurant do you think is not worth trying? Um, Sylvester's Steak. House because it's noisy and expensive. It's noisy and expensive. Very good. Very good. Hello, Melly. Welcome. Nice to see you. Okay. So check this out. Um, in a few minutes, we're going to write a review. We're going to write a review. Okay. But first, I want you to. Put on your headphones and get your pencils. We're going to do exercise 2A. Melly, can you read the instructions, please? Listening and reading. Do you recommend it? Listen. Today, told about a restaurant he went to last week. What do you think? How oh, about it? Circle the correct word. All right. Do you recommend it? And what do you find out about it? What do you find out? Repeat after me, Melly. What do you find out about it? What do you find out about it? Okay. Um, Deja and Melly, repeat after me. Italian. 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 Indian. 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 Seafood? Seafood. Chicken. 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 Steak? Steak. Steak. Some fish. Some, Some fish. fish. Recommends it? Recommends it. Recommend it. Doesn't recommend it. Doesn't recommend it. All right, listen to the audio and circle the correct options. Do you recommend it? A. Listen to Dave talk about a restaurant he went to last week. What do you find out about it? Circle the correct words. I went to a great restaurant last week. It's called Madras. Do you know it? No. It sounds Indian. Is it? Yeah. And they have great food. Really good fish and shrimp dishes and... So what's it like for vegetarians? I don't eat fish or meat. Oh, it's great for vegetarians. They have good vegetable curry dishes and side dishes, like spinach with cheese. So what did you have? I had a steak. You did? In an Indian restaurant? The restaurant is what? Italian or Indian? Indian. Indian. 
All right. You didn't have curry? Well, I had a small vegetable curry, too. But I like steak. Oh, well. I like Indian food. And the service is usually really good in Indian restaurants, too. Oh, yeah. The servers were very good, very friendly. And we didn't have to wait long after we ordered. And it's a fun place, too, you know? It has a good, fun atmosphere. Lots of young people there. So you recommend it, then? Maybe you can take me there this week. All right. We're going to listen to it one more time. And it to eat. Two, listening and writing. Do you recommend it? A. Listen to Dave talk about a restaurant he went to last week. What do you find out about it? Circle the correct words. I went to a great restaurant last week. It's called Madras. Do you know it? No. It sounds Indian. Is it? Yeah. And they have great food. Really good fish and shrimp dishes. And... So what? Shrimp and fish dishes. So they have great seafood or chicken? Seafood. 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 Yes. All right, next. What's it like for vegetarians? I don't eat fish or meat. Oh, it's great for vegetarians. It's good or it's not good? It's good. It's good. Good listening, good listening. All right, next. He had some steak or he had some fish? They have good vegetable curry dishes and side dishes, like spinach with cheese. So what did you have? I had a steak. You did? In an Indian restaurant? You didn't have curry? Well, I had a small vegetable curry, too. But I like steak. Oh, well. I like Indian food. And the service is usually really good in Indian restaurants, too. Oh, yeah. The servers were very good. Very friendly. Five. Friendly? <coughs> yes, friendly. Friendly, friendly, friendly. And number six. And we didn't have to wait long after we ordered. And it's a fun place, too, you know? It has a good, fun atmosphere. Lot six, four more fun. 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 Good listening. Good listening, Mel. And the last one. Lots of young people there. So you recommend it then? Maybe you can take me there this week. He recommends it or he doesn't recommend it? Yes. All right. Excellent. Well, see, he is giving a verbal review of a restaurant, right? Now, we are going to look at some examples of reviews, okay? Look, TripAdvisor, restaurants in Acapulco. Look, these are the restaurants in Acapulco. Which one do you want to see? Flamingos, Restaurant Chili, Mi Piasi. Which restaurant would you like to see? Mi Piasi. Mi Piasi, okay, let's, let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. All right, Mi Piasi is a cheap restaurant. They say it's Italian, pizza, vegetarian friendly. Also, if you're vegetarian, you can go eat there. All right. Okay, okay. Here are the reviews. For the majority, it's excellent. That's good, excellent or very good. So it's an excellent, excellent place. Let's see what they say. Great food and affordable. Affordable means it has a good price. This person says, oh, he's from Colorado, from Colorado. He says, we ate here twice this week and both times the food was excellent. Loved chicken cachatori with lasagna and the margaritas were very good. 
great service and clean baños. <laughs> Not to mention people watching in the Zocalo. All right, open later than many other places. Go try it, it's a staple now for us. Oh, so it's a good review. Very good review. Let's see, this person, Joy, she said, visited me Piazzi twice during this visit. Both times very happy with my meal. Terrific Caesar salad and entrees were fresh and tasty. Service extremely attentive, highly recommended. All right. Now, terrific in Spanish is bad. You know, Spanish is bad, but in English it's good, it's terrific. It's like saying excellent, excellent Caesar salad. Okay. Now, let's look at this other one. Stopped in after Bay Cruise. Oh, so this person was on a cruise. He comes from New York. New York. Eight, eight of us went on this Wednesday evening after a Bay Cruise and the place was packed minus one large table for us. The service, despite the crowd, was very good. We were seated quickly and we were given menus immediately. We split a Caesar salad and I ordered the spaghetti bolognese and my wife, the lasagna, both were outstanding. Outstanding is like marvelous. Just a few sodas after the Bay Cruise, all in all, very good, excellent Italian spots in Acapulco. We will return every trip for sure. Look, look these are some great reviews. All right, and they gave them five. Now let's look at the, you know, the good reviews are great, but let's look at the bad reviews. I wanna see the bad reviews. <laughs> let's see, be wise, don't go. Melly, can you read this? Yes. Be wise, don't go. The last time we were here was the sign the same we should have remembered. The food was a full disappoint. Disappointed. Deceptionated. All right. And uh, this person, reasonable and not worth it. Daya, can you read this? Um, the food was not good at all, and um, we were a party of six. Chicken was so food was cold. Waitress got our order wrong, and the wine was awful. The pizza crust had no taste and was sick. Forza is hands down on overall better restaurant. Competition, Forza. It's bad, it's bad. All right, so these people are giving reviews about Mipiasi. Now, I want you to choose a restaurant, any restaurant you want, and I want you to write a review for that restaurant. Okay, Deya and Melly, are you on the computer or cell phone? Computer. Computer, all right, and you Melly? And the computer. All right, so do you have Microsoft Word? Yes. Yes? All right, great, great. So please open up your Microsoft Word and um, you're going to write a review. Right. Um, so maybe the title of your of your review is going to be the name of the restaurant. All right, the name of the restaurant. You're going to put 
times nu Roman. Times New Roman, and you're going to choose your restaurant. Okay, in my case, I am going to choose Los Tarascos. Los Tarascos. It's going to be the restaurant that I review. Okay, and I'm going to tell you about Los Tarascos. Last month, I went to Los. Tarascos. It's a really good place for tacos de pastor. And I'm going to write my review. All right. And this is how you're going to write your review. Um, you're going to write the name of the restaurant and you're going to give details, when did you go, talk about the food, the service, etc., and talk about if you recommend it or you don't recommend it. Here are some good expressions to use, right? The restaurant was good, the service was excellent, the servers were friendly, the meal was delicious, the food was tasty, the potatoes were hot or cold. All right, do you understand Meli and Deja? Yes. Uh, I'm going to write yes. a review. Only, look, don't write a crazy review. No, only three or four sentences, okay? Three or four sentences, very short. All right. Uh, we're gonna write in the in Word. Yeah, write it in Microsoft Word, and when you finish, you're going to copy and paste to chat. Okay. finished. La casa de los abuelos. Excellent. It is very cozy, quiet and interesting. Interesting. The food is delicious. And the service is good. La Casa de los Abuelos is a place to prepare the family with a for daily price. Affordable prices. Excellent. And Deja, Woolworth Cafe.
uh, Woodward Cafe. Last week, I went with my mom to Woodward Cafe for dinner. The service was good and the food was good too. The waiters were delighted a little, maybe because of the coronavirus, but nothing to worry about. Excellent, but nothing to worry about. That is great. All right, ladies, excellent, excellent reviews. Okay, and uh, well, we're going to go on the break. All right, remember, I, I, I really need you to come here at 2.40. Don't be late, please, okay? 2.40, so we can, so we can review a little bit and take the test, okay? Yes, no, do you understand? Yes. Okay, Nelly? Got it. You understand, got it? Okay, 2.40 so we can review. Provecho. We're not going to wait for her anymore today. We're gonna begin right now. All right, so, Daya, you know, we started this, this part of the, how can I say, this last part on unit 10, okay? And now, unit 10 was really easy. You know, unit 10 was, was simple past. You know, we are learning verbs in the past. So, you know, just remember, when a verb is in the past, for the simple past, we use verb, ed, or we use an irregular past verb. For example, verb eds are like played, studied, watched, wanted, cooked, okay? And irregular verbs would be like go, went, read, read. Um, what else? Do you know other irregular verbs, Dea? From right here, maybe? Boat. Yes, buy, bought. See, saw. See, saw. One more. We're going to do take, took. Okay. Now, these are probably going to come on the test. And also remember that to make questions in the simple past, you say, did you? plus the infinitive verb, all right? Did you or did plus the subject plus infinitive form, all right? For example, did you, did you eat yesterday would be correct. Do not say, did you ate? No, did you ate yesterday is not correct. All right, did you eat? Use the verb in the present when you're talking about questions. And you respond with, yes, I did. Or if it's negative, no, I did it. Okay. All right, then we learned the simple past of was and were. All right, so remember, for I, he, she and it, we use was. I was, he was, she was, and it was. All right. And also for you, we use were. You were. They were, 
and we're missing one. We we were. All right. Now on the test is going to be something a little like this. When you ask questions, it's going to give you an example like this. Da da da, you to the, you go to the park yesterday, and it's gonna give you options like did, do, or it's going to say were. And um, what is correct here, Daya? Did you go to the park yesterday? Did you go to the park yesterday, or where you go to the park yesterday? What is correct? Did you? Did you? Yes, because we use the. We use did to talk about the past if we have another verb, all right? If we have another verb. And it's the past because it says yesterday. All right, and you know, you also you have the simple past questions. Just remember that how is in what manner, in what manner, where? is the place how long is to talk about the period of time what is for the activity and who is for the person and when there you when do i use when the time. The time. The day. Yes. The time of day. Yes. All right. And we can use the different collocation with go and went. Got and went. All right. And in this lesson, <clears throat> we learned that countable nouns use a if it's singular and use s if it's plural all right for example an apple and the plural form would be only apples okay An apple, apples. And um, uncountable nouns. Don't use a, and or the plural s. Okay, for example, I would say sugar. I would say I like apples or I like sugar, not sugars, sugar. And the last one, would you, would you. Uh, we use would you to ask for advice. No, sorry, not ask for advice. We use it to um, offer things. Would you like to go to the movies? You can say, yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Okay, yes, I would, no, I wouldn't. <clears throat> and for negative negatives or questions we use any except for offers except for offers um or requests
for example, if I am at if I am at a, a restaurant I'm, and I want to ask the waiter, I can say, "Do you have any soda?" And that's okay because it's not an offer or it's not a request. But if I want to offer you something, I could say, "Would you like some soda?" Would you like some soda? That is offer. And if it's a request, I can say, can I have some soda? Can I have some soda? Okay. And well, Deya, do you have any questions? No. No? All right, so this is what we are going to do. I am going to put the, the link in WhatsApp, in the chat, and uh, you're going to take it when you are finished. Please send me a message so I can send you the speaking questions. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. One moment. Let me find them so I can give them to you. Okay, <clears throat> Deya, can you please check the link to see if it works? Yes. All right, we are going to get off soon. Whenever you are finished, send me a message, okay? Don't forget to send me a message so I can send you the other questions, all right? 